Jesus said, those that love me obey my commandments. And so love expressed is one of obedience. But you can't obey something you don't hear. Therefore, it can... It, infers the need for intimacy to cause obedience to happen because you need to hear the command to obey it in the first place. And so there's the foundational level of you read the command, so just obey it. That is obedience, but it's just we know it. Then there's this compassion level of I feel it. I feel compassion for that person on the streets. I feel compassion for that business leader. I feel compassion for that politician. I feel compassion for that street child. Whatever it may be, I feel compassion. I feel led to move. But then there's obedience. Interestingly, and I kind of may have started this, so sorry about that. There is a theology amongst many people that we know that says the level of maturity should increase so that we don't need writing on the wall to just do the right thing. Okay, And so we talk about identity a lot, and we have preached, I have preached, that the foundational level of identity is the servant, then there's the son, then there's the friend. And the friend slash colleague of God doesn't need writing on the wall to know what to do. They know what to do already. But I'm sorry, Jesus didn't live that that was the ultimate place of action in the kingdom. Jesus lived that the ultimate place is obedience. I only do what I see the Father doing. That's our ultimate place. And so I want to challenge a theology that I may have helped create, which says that maturity shows that we're going to go from being a servant to a son to a friend, and friends of God know his heart, therefore we just do. We just Because when I first became a Christian, I joined the Christian Union because that's what Christians do. I was at university. And um, the leader of the Christian Union at the time came into a meeting. She was a little bit late, and she says, I just want to give testimony. I tripped over just now, and I want to give testimony that I didn't break my ankle. And I was there, and I was a really new Christian, and I was very scientific. I'm a veterinary surgeon, for those who don't know. And I said, I was like, no one just breaks their ankle because they trip over, in the way that she described the trip. I'm like, nope, that's not a real testimony. That's not, that doesn't make any sense to me. Just, and then, in that meeting, someone said, you know, I'm so obedient to God that I don't get out of bed until I hear him say so. I was like, all right, people, that's just ridiculous. Because I don't think we have to see writing on the wall to do the right thing because we know the Bible and we know the character of God, so we can just get on with it. But I think there's a higher level, which is obedience. So if God says stay in bed, you should stay in bed. But if, God, if you don't hear God and there's nothing to obey, per se, then you retreat to what you should feel you know you should do, which is just get out of bed and go to work. Um, but if you don't feel like going to work, then you just retreat to what you know you should do, which is just go to work and provide for your family, people. You know, So it's, obedience is the higher level of action in the kingdom, but we retreat back to this place of we know what we should do. I'm intimate enough with God that I, I know how a Christian should act. I know what Jesus would do in most situations. And this is why intimacy is such a fundamental value of Catch the Fire. Because we're not just reliant on the Bible, which we are reliant on. We're not just reliant on the Bible and the character of God as expressed through the inerrant word of God. We are people that know God. Which means that we get to live in intimacy with God and grow in a relationship with God where we can start to say, probably not as firmly as Jesus did, that I only do what I see the Father doing, but we sort of grow in a mini version of that and say, I actually saw him do one or two things today and I did those things. Eureka, I'm growing up as a Christian. Do you know what I'm saying?